pretty good in here as well. Even right. though it lasts much less, it's just the effect is that much stronger. You go nowhere when you're at like yeah. 150 and you get hit in Shield Monado. Yeah, for sure. And of course, you have the Smash Monado art as well, which can get very, very early kills. And it, newsflash, it's, uh, it's hard to keep track of three people instead of one. So sometimes, like, doubles is that environment where Yo, sometimes whipping out that stray smash attack, it, it might be a good idea. Oh, it definitely works. And the, the, you see heavies thrive in the doubles environment so much more. Yeah. Because they are the heavy hitters. If they have a character that can set them up quite well, kind of like how we have Mega and Chump doing the same exact thing with a Fox and Center War combo, you can get the stocks very early. Because what Chump and Mega have been doing so far is that Chump will run in, he'll get a couple of these grabs, he'll get the Fox jazz, and then Center War is able to follow up right afterwards. Kind of look like Smash 4 going for the fair foot still there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can still get like fair into like double jump shine or double jump nair. You've seen light do it, but definitely not the good old footstool you used to get. Oh my goodness. Ooh, man. He's getting sandwiched right now. S2H and Nico going in at the moment. Yeah, they got... Oh, wait, what? it just stopped the low and whip that all sucks. together. Dude, that, <laughs> that move, I mean, uh, it's just like... Come on, give him armor throughout the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, at least let him finish the move. Oh, there goes the back throw, taking what? off both members of the red team, Charles. What? Wait, did the back throw kill them? Yeah, like the, the back actual throw, throw? killed him. Wow, dude. Okay, Incineroar is actually made for double. Well, I know the forward throw had a hitbox on it. I didn't realize the back throw had one as well. Wild. And I feel like even the, the neutral V, the Dark Lariat, is really good in double. Just because that meaty hitbox, the arms are intangible as well. And right now, Mega's still sitting on three stocks, looking pretty. He's trying to go for a jab there to extend something, but not quite going to get it. There we have yet another clothesline online for Mega. And as you said, three, he is sitting at three stocks. The back throw almost <laughs> taking that stock. Dude, Max it's... Rage Incineroar. Flex on him. Oh, okay. okay, okay. He, was, he was actually close. If he have... F-tilted the other direction. Yeah, he was done. Oh, wait. Cross top hide? No. And he's using the whip to go ahead and recover low instead. Fantastic stuff. Chomp. Man. And that forward smash is able to hold onto the stock, though. All right, finally? No. no. <laughs> Mega's still alive, dude. This Incineroar is still. Oh, are it's you dead? Not. Are you dead? <laughs> he almost. He's oh, dead. He He's dead. He died. What? On Town and City. <laughs> <laughs> he was at 60. I'm so surprised Nico just didn't shield art, but... Oh, no, he's dead. Is he? He's oh, dead. no. Yeah, he's definitely oh. dead. He was like 140. Okay. Finally, then. Mega losing that stock. But blue team is in such a prime position to get game one right now. Can someone get this incinerator? Oh, no, the oh. Up. <laughs> No, it's he's dead. dead. Oh. He's dead. Would you like some extra cheese with that incinerator? Would you like an extra side of cheese? I, I feel like my man loves some fun, dude. Honestly. Oh, man. This incinerator has been taking the stocks quite early back and forth, man. Wow. Do the same thing right now, and he's so close to doing it. With Smash Monado. Mm, yeah, and really good stuff on Mega, helping out his uh, teammate Chump there so he can recover. Nico can be quite a menace to deal with offstage, and even just pressuring him right there, forcing him like not to edgeguard the Firefox. So good. But honestly, Nico in the 2v1 right now, he's doing bad. He's able to kind of move around freely, tossing out these long-lasting hitboxes that he has with the Monado itself. Really a great spot dodge, double spot dodge. Sometimes the double spot dodge comes through, man. Sometimes you gotta act like you're playing the beast. <laughs> oh, he's done! Wait a minute. Nico, no, no way, no way. All right, yeah, you're just <laughs> I was Wait, like, don't overthink this. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of this show, but man, I mean, like, considering that it was that close, even though Blue Team got a handful of absurdly early stocks. That is pretty dangerous. That just tells me that uh, Nico and S2H, even like regardless of getting killed so early, they're still in this to win. That was such an explosive start from the blue team. It led beginning with that back throw itself, taking off both members of the red team. They didn't know it, we didn't know it, but that hitbox is massive and it's so strong. Like they just lost their stock immediately. Then he just kept the momentum going, getting a lot more of the low and whip. But really, the key to their victory to lose is just that incentive. Run. If SOH <laughs> or Nico can get in there and just give them, yes. they'll be in a much better position. Yeah, and I, I mean, I feel like just Mega's recoveries are so, so good. Plus, Chump is at least pressuring their uh, their opponents to the point where like they're not edge guarding Incineroar for free. Which is like something you see a lot often in the doubles format, which is why some characters with not the greatest recoveries can survive. 
such a deadly world of edge guarding. It's really the key thing that I think he can get out of the ages with one of the members of the team. Then immediately disengage to go ahead and help out his teammate. He is just totally playing that support role to the max effect that you can really do. Yeah, and Fox is so good at doing that on stage. He can't really help you too much off stage, but he's quick and his punish game, especially just dash up smash, like just on the stage, since he's so quick, he can just really interrupt the flow of battle. Taking away that stock, Mega. Find his way to the stage. He is the super armor. Oh! The cross chop comes wow. in to save him, and Nico S. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, if he was just like mashing B for the second hit, but then it was hitting like left or right. I mean, that's the only way I could think of it. S. Switch. Not gonna get the edge guard on Trump though. Or Trump. <laughs> the Trump. <laughs> I know he's close to the border, but relax. Uh, got him. Got him. All right, another grab, real quick. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the use of armor such a low and whip. Have a darkest layer is coming out as well. That's the way it's gonna land. Whip that forward air is bad. Oh, revenge! Oh, Give it to me! <laughs> so much damage. Oh, this, this, this Incineroar is dishing out. Even the up air. I mean, I feel like Incineroar has some pretty quick and big hitboxes you can throw out in doubles, which is another thing which is why we saw Cloud was so successful in Smash 4 doubles. Just really large hitboxes, very powerful. You just kind of control a big area. And narrow shield as well for Incineroar. It's like probably one Down of the best smash. areas. And L2. Give him the break damage. I like it. Just those two in the house. Oh, yeah. Fox definitely uh, still carrying that. Uh, down smash is so, so good. So quick as well. I think Incineroar just has the most fascinating hit in Ultimate. A lot of his moves are very quick, very fast. You have the command grab on the wall. Darkest Lariat is ridiculous. Yes. But then it's on a character that moves very slow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's my biggest thing about Incineroar. Uh, it, it's just, he's great, but bad recovery plus being slow, it, that's not a great combo. That's why I think if you're going to pull it off on double in doubles, you need a character like Fox where... The Fox is revolving around where you're at in neutral because he has the speed to do it. Wow, are we, were you seeing that? So many conversions off of just a late neutral air yep. that Mega was doing over and over. Chunk was ready for it to follow up every time. Yeah, and it looks like Mega is taking the front line and Chunk is there to follow up off of these straight airs that, oh, and that is him. Beautiful wow. stuff from S2H yes. you know, off the side to go and get rid of Trump. But on the other side, you have Nico taking complete control of Mega there. In the Buster Monado, he had him go from like 20 to 70 with a couple of jabs and then a down throw into f -tilt. Yes. Right now, we're getting to the nitty gritty, man. S2H just surviving by a strand right now. And I mean, at least Nico has a shield Monado, but man, Trump's still looking pretty healthy here. Oh. Gonna get punished. Darkest Lariat actually trading with the dash oh. attack there. That was such a good break. Oh, the up Super smash! Auto. No, not enough. Knockback is reduced. Yep. Oh, wait, back on the ledge. Oh, I like the draw rush up to that top platform. No edge guard on the Incineroar. Oh, this is the back. How do you, how do you get on? He made it back! What? Yeah, he's back on stage. Up smash match. immediately punished by that air slash. There goes the dash attack. Still not enough, but dimensional cake is going to do it. You can't grab what you can't see, Mr. Incineroar. And right there, that di the dimensional cape. And that was really good by S2H. He saw, he probably went for the down B, and he saw that he went for the grab. So he just held it, got the slash, hit him back outwards. And what a clutch ending to game number two. Now going to evening up 1-1 one, one here. But man, it's just like those are when you have to be really clutch. And the fact that Nico didn't even die from the dash attack as well, like that was... So, so good. Yeah, I mean, he's keeping themselves composed after that game one. And great adjustment by s as you said, with that dimensional case. He wasn't going to make it back if he did not Hit. connect with the Incineroar. Yeah. Just because he had to adjust what angle he was taking. He made sure he stayed at that ledge, took it completely away, and got the stop. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, I definitely think we're seeing a lot more edge guarding coming out from Nico and s we saw Trump get edge guarded quite a bit in that last game, so that's where you got to really abuse this box pick. The box pick, very strong on stage, does a really good job of compensating for uh, how slow Incineroar is, but off stage, both these guys just get terrorized. Oh man, that's cool. Getting a lot of damage, but not getting so Wow, it looks like we got a switch. Ooh, a Falcon coming out. One of the recipients of the Caduceus buffs here in 3.1. Oh yeah, but this should be the edge guard. Ooh, early cross stop right there. Really nice coming out from Mega. Oh, 
Disney ball. Both of them going for that up air. So hungry. Ooh. The knee coming up. He wasn't even going for him. Oh, man. You just kind of jumped in the way. He, he kind of took the shot for Nico, man. Even though Nico's kind of like, oh, man, I, I wasn't going to get hit by Like, this. I'm definitely <laughs> away from this. I'm good, but yo, man, good luck. Nico, no. This, this is how I know you're a great teammate. This, this is why I team with you. There you go. There you go. But yeah, I mean, I mean, Falcon kind of plays that same role as Fox. You're going to have really quick, really uh, strong punish game coming out from the Falcon. But kind of the same weaknesses as well. You're not going to have the strong offstage. Uh, I mean, same as Fox, very abusable recovery. But so far, looking so good. They just got to really... Nico just starting so, so well. Out of the field. Out for Mega. And again, you just see Chino so ready to follow up off of any hit that Mega is getting. Nico sitting at 160 now. Shield Monado actually is gone. Up smash onto S2H. Not going to get that stock, but the forward smash is going to do it. Man, and right now, S2H on his last stock. Yeah, I mean, that 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 sucks when you're like stock taking so much. But I mean, to be fair, Nico is the one hanging back. You know, S2H is taking the front lines. He's going. He's the one being very aggressive with these games. Oh man. Okay, there's a the shield art. Yeah, Nico, 182. Yeah, but this is so dangerous. Oh man, Nico needs to survive until at least get they get another stock. Oh man, Rapid Boost, not a kill move anymore. Not so good. It's actually a combo oh, starter. Do it. No! Oh my. No. Oh my god. At that point, just up throw. Yeah. Just don't even do one of the two forward or back throw because you're gonna hit whoever is around you. Especially him? if it's your teammate. That killed him? <laughs> get out of the way, man. Ooh, like, wow, I didn't. I didn't know it killed. Like, it's a hitbox, but I did not know it killed. That's a, that's a, oh my goodness, Nico going all the way out there. One stock of peace all across the board. And the dunk's coming out from Trump immediately, catching Nico. The Falcon pick proven to be worth here, and Fox definitely not having that dunk. So let's see how S2H is going to mount this comeback here. Low that, on. Oh, he has a bump stage. No, oh, he did have back. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he didn't know he grabbed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, who did you just grab there? <laughs> Wow, that shield's looking really low. Both of them are just trying to nair for their life. <laughs> Super nair bros? Sometimes okay. it be like Up that. Up smash? Though. I like it. I'm gonna get that back air to stage. Oh, no. That's always scary because, like, what if you get reversal off stage? You know what I mean? Like, that's always a scary thing about going for the dunk. But I, re I respect Chump. That's what got him here in the first place, right? That dunk on Nico, which was so, so clutch. You're gonna get whatever you can to seal this out. Great recognition right there coming out from Trump. Knowing the knee was not gonna connect. Jumped right back out, landing that back air to take a 2-1 lead now. Yeah, really good stuff from the blue team. And I mean, I, I like it too because a lot of people might be like, yo, look at that game one. That was such a fluke. They they essentially like quote unquote cheese them, got them, got them at really early socks. But right there, no, that's I mean, not they cheese. just played super solid. That's not cheese. You just don't know. You're just jealous. Dude, and he killed his teammate with fourth though. That's wild. They won that, and like mm -hmm. Trump just got bodied by <laughs> that forward throw. Like, Look, that's dang. the life of Falcon. Like Falcon's basically a space. He just died for no reason. So yeah. We're going into a game four right now. Mega and Trump up by one game. Will Nico and Nico make it to five? Mega and Trump run away with what? What are all these multi hits? Yeah, I, I, I see so much buttons getting hit on the left side. It's actually crazy. Okay, lick. So he, so he got hit by the jabs, and because right. Larry was just active, he popped him straight away. Wow. Oh, like it altered the yeah. direction. Yeah. I know they still have that. You don't see it too often, but if you're going to see it somewhere, it's going to be good. Dude, and you know what's crazy? You can, like, a low and whip, and your teammate, like, by the, the, I don't know what they're called, the wrestling thing. When, when you low and whip and you bounce them back, your oh, teammate can just yeah. hit them. The, the, uh, the ropes. The ropes. There the you ropes. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ropes. I'm not too big on this. Oh, I understand. It's not a nerf world, so you definitely don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's a free fall of you. You can just smash attack. That's kind of wild. Oh, oh. Again, actually going on to the stage this time around, getting Nico off of him. But, oh, going for one more, a little bit. But, I like this from Red Team. Just immediately disengaging from the Infernal and going to take a while to get back to that stage. Trying to get whatever time they can for the QB1. Yeah, and I love that S2H is. So willing to go on offense here. We we always see him closing out the stock. Oh, oh, single hit in there. Give him the knee. Oh, yes. And that is the uh, ultimate version. Uh, instead of up air knee, you got, you got good old single hit in there knee. You know, kind of mixing it up here in ultimate. Oh, yeah. Come on. They're, they're close as hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's an edge guard from Nico. Oh, and untackable there. And that, I mean, you you could rock crock it, but now that untackable's in it, you at least got to be at a lower percent. Uh, 
hard time now. That was going to be it. But Nico has actually been doing that this whole set. Immediately taking the position to try to get in here. And, you know, there's times that it works out for him. But, you know, that was that 10% where he gets countered. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that, that's always the worst when you're like, dang, I, I kind of like did what I was supposed to do. <laughs> like, I should have just hit the button. Like, yeah. Why did I wait for an air dodge? <laughs> why did I think that hard? <laughs> dang it. Well, I'm <laughs> not good joking. right there. Man, Red Team. Oh, my. What a pump going all the way up there, making contact with S2H, but still not enough to get that stock. He came in a terrible position, and S2H was salivating, understanding where he was. Give me that kid. Yeah. <laughs> S2H. <laughs> S2H is getting so much of these edge guards, man. Like, where he's edge guarding the Fouts, he's edge guarding the Incineroar. It's just, they have such a huge lead because S2H, is, his offense off stage is so, so good against this team where you really have to abuse it. That's where their weakness lies, and S2H is doing an incredible job with it. For either member of the group to hit that one button. Trying to go for that whip time. Since he does have access to that massive hit in the Minato, has Mega offstage, and that is going to be in one single board. Edge. Yep, and he was just like, whoa, whoa, Green, calm down. I got the I got the fairs on deck too. Okay, single knee. What are you gonna do after? Ooh, beautiful tech, down smash. Yeah, yeah. both sides, that insurance, and that's some great doubles right there. We saw S28 go for the low, and then you know, Nico was just chilling there. Just waiting for that high recovery. Landed right into his loving arms and hit him with that down smash. Good, clean stuff. We got ourselves a game number five. It's not a silver platter, and here we go. What is going to be the counter pick? Going to town and city. What's the music, though? Order? No, pick the happy home designer. <laughs> Literally the best song. Yeah, free. <laughs> it's, it's actually the only song I have set on there for my random. We, we might have to coach him and yeah, have please, a little yeah, discussion yeah, yeah. on. Song counterfeits. I mean, look, if they haven't beat World of Light, then they can't do anything. They're not going to have the best music in the game. That's actually... I I might actually pay someone Look, to... I suffered. I went through it. I beat it on hard and 100% of it. Wow. How long did that take you? I don't remember. I don't want to think about it. I, I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, Sometimes. I, I need to just go on easy and just do it. We just have a lot of the games are actually good. But, you know, my man is about to be picking off of this stage. That's the way it's barely off the mark. Getting that stock away. Almost taking his life 50%, man. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the name of the game, honestly. Oh, yes. And that is, you have to use this off stage, and there's early. Wow! He got I've, hit by the late hit. Yeah. I don't think he was expecting that. There's no armor on the uh, downward part of Cross Shot. You can just beat it out. So, a tad bit misspacing there from S2H, and uh, Mega will live another day here with this raid. Which is so scary to me. <laughs> Oh, Marcus Lariat getting S2H off of him, trying to challenge in the air, but S2H, the biggest adaptation that he's doing is he's going for an extra jump. He's going for an extra jump. He's going right over him. He understands that a lot of times Mega's going to go for that out of shield short hop. Right. But you know, if you hit that first button, it's only active on the side of you. If I'm above you, I can down here. I can neutral air. I can go in and get a follow-up afterwards. And if he goes by me, he can just punish you right after. Just covering multiple options like that, and that's what makes it so hard because S2H is just covering low most of the time, and Nico is just with that deadly parry. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I was like, maybe oh, up he would have killed. Oh, trying to get him right there, but Nico not. No fuzzy dice here. Falcon off stage, though. Mega gonna be able to make it back, yes, and he ends up going high. Understanding, like, you know what? S2H overstanding just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and punish him with my LP. Off the top, Nico goes though, and right now though, Pump on his very last off. Oh, no, shield poke. You cannot do that. Your shield yeah. was way too low to try to shield another smash attack. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's the crazy thing about this game, too. It's, uh, shield poking is a lot more generous for the person going for the poke. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're Olimar. <laughs> oh, RIP. It oh, doesn't even matter. He's Goodbye. dead. Goodbye. He's Get dead that from that. Oh, my. Wow, man. S2A. Two stock lead for and S2H right now. Right there, Edgar meant a time and time again. S2H just really pulls through and gets these very low percent I kills. I love the ambition out from Mega. He thought he was going to get some type of air dodge or anything, so he went for the cross shot instead to get the spike hit off. Yeah. I mean, at this point, Blue Team has to make some really big plays. Right now, we have... Ooh, wow. Such animation just from the I know, to right? Do, like, well, I mean, was he at zero? zero? Was he at zero? He was at 10. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he, I think he only revenged the, 
can't make it. Oh, he's double jump. All right. Wait a minute. The reversal. No, no punish from Nico there. While S2H is trying to get this gift on the right side as well. Yeah, both of them just trying to get some type of gift. Or smash going to connect. That is going to be it. Red team on the way to possibly take this one. Are you sure? Shuttle. It, it connected. It actually worked. No wow. way. How is this character bad? <laughs> <laughs> so very, very solid stuff from the red team. Nico and S2H doing a really great job. And I don't, I don't know if that was winner's side or loser's oh, side. Losers. 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 Okay, so okay. I have it trusty right here. Uh, nice. Those losers quarters. Uh, up next, I'm assuming we're going to see 